are redeemed by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has done many powerful things for us. And one of the things that the blood of Jesus has done is that it has redeemed us. Let's read from Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, according to the riches of his grace. Redemption means the release of someone through the paying of a ransom. So we understand that the blood of Jesus is a ransom for us. Jesus became that one perfect lamb who died for us and he shed his blood. Now this is the blood which is the payment for our sins. And as God looks at the blood of Jesus, um, he sees what Christ has done to redeem us. Uh, and as God's children, this is a powerful truth that we have been rescued. We have been set free. We have been bought back through the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus has redeemed us. It has purchased uh, our redemption, which means that, that whatever it is that, that sin and uh, the power of sin could do in our lives, now that Jesus has shed the blood, the power of those things can be broken off of us. And now as children of God, the blessings of Abraham, every promise that we have in Christ Jesus can come upon us. We are taken away from the power of sin and its bondage. And now our future is different. Our destiny is different. Now we can reverse the curse uh, as it is said because the blood of Jesus speaks on our behalf and it says that we have now been rescued from the punishment that we deserved. But God has uh, translated us. He has changed our future because now we are in Christ Jesus and now the blessings of Abraham have been directed towards us. So can we just uh, go before the Lord and, and thank Him for this rescue. We thank Him that He Himself has, has paid the price through His blood and that uh, things in our lives that, that need restoration, things in our lives that need the redeeming power of God, you know, can uh, experience that power because of the love of God, uh, because of the Lamb of God who has become our sacrifice and whose blood speaks the word of our redemption. Can we pray together? Heavenly Father, we thank you that we have been redeemed through your blood, O oh God. Father, we have been rescued, O oh God, from the clutches of the enemy. Father, we have received a different future and a different destiny because of what your blood has done for us. And so God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, standing on this truth, Father, I pray for all those who are listening. And God, I ask, oh God, that, that Lord, they, they would be rescued, Father God, from the bondage of sin, God. Lord, I ask for your freedom to be seen in their lives, Father. Yes, Lord, and those who have uh, experienced any form of destruction oh God any attack of the evil one father God Lord we we ask God that Lord no matter what the enemy has done God that everything will be turned around for their good Lord Jesus Lord thank you that you're a God who restores seven times over and Lord I just speak this word upon the lives of the people oh God let let them experience God a mighty restoration God and a mighty turning around and father we give you glory for doing this in their lives in Jesus name we pray amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.